Hello there people and welcome to a new Blu-ray Blu update video. This is episode 11. Yes, I am going to start doing episodes on these and like I said, these aren't going to be very frequent, um, like maybe one or twice a month. But this, so this is the first one for this month and I got a quite big haul of Blu-rays, a big nice sort of collection over here, various and all that. And Without further ado, let's get started into this whole stack. Now, first one I'm going to sort of look at, sort of quickly, is the Cowboy Bebop um, box one of sort of two um, Blu-ray, and I've never seen of this, but I have heard of it. And one thing I'll say, first of all, just have a wee look. First, so it's in this kind of like sort of cover, kind of it's. Do you know what? It's nice and sol solid, so it's, you know, you hear that nice, and we just, um, op sort of open it. Um, first off, we have the kind of, this is kind of like, um, sort of art, like you get to see some of the, the, the statues. Uh, and I'll just show you a lot. See? So, that's, that's pretty cool. I have no idea who these characters are, are though, however, because I've never seen it before. But, pretty damn cool. Then the next part is what I love most is the where the discs are kept and it's kept in the BTS kind of cover. This brings back the good old times and I look, even like they've done the back well. So obviously they've put care and time to it and obviously we've got the, the discs here as well and I think there's something in it. Yeah, it's like even like the inside of the VHS. That's a... Uh, interesting I don't see, kind of see that kind of like um, detail so yeah that's um pretty good the only downside to this once I just get it is um kind of like falls out quite easily it's not nothing kind of like doesn't stay on real well but one thing I wanted to point out and this will be a separate video and probably a separate channel is, is a bit of a I have a wee bit of a rant with this not with the blu-ray itself but in getting this blu-ray a little bit really annoying I'll explain all of that in another video at another time um, so look out for a link in the description or down at the an annotation where around where I show this off so yeah this looks pretty good looking forward to watching it next one is I watched this just recently and it's Hugo this is now it says maybe 3d don't worry it does play 2d um, but this was actually really good, beautiful in my eye. This Martin Scorsese, this actually did win five Oscars, but the problem is it only won five technical Oscars, so it wasn't really like the big ones, which was quite unfortunate. But this was actually really good, it's a, it, and it's a children's, well not a children's kind of film, but it's a U, which you rarely see these days. It's either PG or a 12 or a 12A. You know, very rare that you see this kind of light rating nowadays, but this is actually really good and I completely love it. The next one is, uh, most of these I haven't seen, and the next one is one of them. Real Steel with Hugh Jackman. Never really got around to seeing this in the cinema, never got around to actually buying it when it came out. I've heard a mixed bag, I've heard this is good, I've heard it's either decent, bad, but it looks interesting. I mean, oh come on, robots fighting each other around of robot wars. Um, if anyone remembers that in UK, you are a legend. Um, but looking for, I actually looking forward to watching it. Probably watch it over the weekend. Yeah. The next one is some would probably say is a classic. I don't know. I've never seen it, and it's Zodiac. Two things to note: Jake Gyllenhaal's in this, and it's directed by David Fincher. So. That looks pretty awesome. I've heard it's really good. One kind of um, sort of interesting. Nothing's kind of really special, but this only has kind of like a sort of cover sort of thing. But and that's kind of like the DVD. It's nothing really kind of special about it, sadly. But it looks pretty cool. We get on to what I think is the bargain of all of this collection. Um, when was buying these, um, some of these Blu-rays today, and I came across the Wanted um, Blu-ray, and what was interesting, it was the steel book, which is this one, absolutely steel, yep. right, steel book, three pounds, 
I saw it and I had to pick it up. And the best thing is though, it's in good nick. I mean, there's no dents or scratches or whatnot. It closes fine. And I remember what I remember seeing this like a couple of years back. It was a, it was really good. Maybe kind of a bit, a bit dull in some parts. But yeah. I'm really looking forward to kind of revisiting this in Blu-ray goodness and it was such a bargain. My next one is, I have seen this one as well and that's 50-50, uh, Joseph Goldlevitt, Seth Rogen. Um, this, I saw this on Netflix and it was amazing. I completely love it. It's really kind of like true. Um, it's one of those, like I said in a previous video, I like kind of like real based kind of like true sort of movies. This is one of them. This is really good. Seth Rogen actually is really damn good for someone who is a comedian. You know, and Joseph Goldlevy gives off a really, really good performance. And Anna, Anna Kendrick's in it and she was really, really good in it. So yeah, really good film. Definitely pick up and can't wait to watch it on Blu-ray. Now, I wasn't really too sure about this one when I picked it up because I hadn't really ever seen it. But I've heard, again, kind of a mixed bag of it. It's um, Buried by Ryan Reynolds. Um, I heard that he's actually good in it, but I heard the film's not that good in, in particular. And I also hear that he has one of the best um, mobile connect uh, signals ever because somehow he can be buried, what, six feet under and still get a reception. <laughs> That's pretty impressive. Um, but I this was, like, getting cheap because I have but I'd pick it up. Now, we got to the last one, and I thought I saved the best to last, kind of, in a way. Interesting thing, though, however, is I have never played the actual game towards this, the actual game to it, because the one I picked up is Final Fantasy VII Advent Children. Yes, Children, as it's complete. And I picked this up in DVD a couple of years back. My brother did have it, and he got rid of it. But... This was, it was actually pretty good, but probably the only problem was I really didn't understand what was going on because I haven't played the game based on it. I know that you'd think, who hasn't played it? Um, I haven't, so. But what I would say is the CGI is fantastic. It's really good. Um, really good sense of that kind of, that, that kind of Final Fantasy world. Um, and I did like even though that I hadn't understand most of it but yeah I think you really have to be a fan of that specific game or maybe that specific series to really probably enjoy this film but I did like it so and that is all that um, I think that was about nine that I p sort of picked up I'm pretty sure kind of like a really good haul um, pretty impressive I enjoy it so hopefully by Maybe in the next couple of weeks I'll have something, a new episode out. Uh, probably be a bit smaller in terms of like Blu-ray pickups. But I'll try and be a bit more creative with my sort of picks um, for it. But leave a, a comment down below if you've either seen any of these, what you think of some of the films and any other sort of maybe Blu-rays I should try and sort of hunt for. Um, like I, I do listen to the comments and I hope to see you guys later in this in a new episode. Hopefully. Maybe. Possibly.